first of all, make sure I'm not being sounded over live. It's. I mentioned that I was going to start doing a series on the channel besides Twitch highlights, so I thought I was going to start that off with this game. Um, I'm sorry there hadn't been a whole lot of content in a couple of weeks. I've had uh, some real hectic issues at home, but I'm back now. I'm motivated. I'm ready to get this going. I played the. Uh, I played Borderlands 1 and 2, and I haven't played any of the ones past that, so hopefully now that's not going to be a problem. And if you've noticed by now, I um, I have two videos up of Overwatch from Monday and Tuesday. I took all of those from my past Saturday stream, and I'm going to make them a Monday and Tuesday themed thing. Then Thursday and Friday, I'm going to have like a series, like I'm going to start with this. And then Sundays I will upload the Twitch highlights from whatever I'm currently streaming. Which right now, the game being streamed at Twitch is Resident Evil 7. Someone from the future from now is going to see this video and think I'm completely batshit. Anyways, um, yeah, but that's going to be my format from now on. I'm motivated, I'm ready to grow a little bit more because I enjoy doing it. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's jump right into that. I probably won't talk over them as much as I can. I have subtitles on, but I don't want to interrupt the flow of things, but I'll still give my commentary on it. What is that thing? Alright, let's go. There's my boy. Episode 1, Zero Sum. Little cute loading screen. Game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Right, so like Left 4 Dead, Wolf Among Us, Game of Thrones. Nothing, nothing new. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could <laughs> say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. <laughs> Putting it lightly. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less uh, obvious rewards. Stories. Legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Cause there ain't no rest for the wicked. Sorry, that just really made me think back to Borderlands 1. I miss you, Telltale. I love you. Thanks for coming back. I said about a game that y'all put out a long time ago. I'm gonna do Batman after this, I believe. I was waiting to see if it finished first. I'm not sure if it finished or not. There's enough episodes to get going on it, though. Oh, look how handsome I am. Oh, wait, that's Jack. Not me. Wait, who am I in this? I know it's a prequel. Come on, we can work this out. <laughs> Yona. What is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? Oh shit. Okay, yeah, I am Jack. That's how my last weekend started. Where are we going? Exactly are we going? I ask the questions. 
Okay, then uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? It's going to do sexy things to you, Jack. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordis project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordis is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, nah, he okay, ain't interested. Okay, okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. <laughs> right. Whatever you say, Robo Raiden. Oh, boy. Is that an elephant? I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome yeah. Jack, he was the baddest guy of them all. It must feel good to find to be just like him. Take it, it's yours, right? I mean, you always said that. Everyone did. Gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but but hey, here we are resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. Oh, I thought this was a prequel. Never mind. I'm not Jack. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. Your best friend, the money man. You're getting a fraction of what he earns. You'll be rolling in it. And I figured That's I'd get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? So she up a hooker's twisted, butt. Bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey, we made it. Okay, we're in this together. Oh. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here have short well, memories. Well, it's going to bite me in the ass, probably. You, me, Yvette, we're going to run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Sneer. That's a sneer. Oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mr. Henderson. Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. Is that Patrick no, Warburton? I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah. But I don't want it in red, I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Putty! Vasquez, your Hyperion nemesis. Oh boy, this is. surprised to see me, Reese, and. If I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. Where's Henry so and the Hendersons? Henderson? He, uh, stepped up. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> But this is about more than that, Reese. 
questions about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North, why the handsome guy always gets the girl, and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. I've always wondered that. It's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Duh! Oh shit, okay, wow. never mind. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. First I thought it was a fish. Which is this. This promotion that makes more sense. is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny. And put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Uh, okay, that's where the looters and the bandits and the midgets live. That's probably an offensive word. I'm sorry. I'm gonna look at this guy who had to step out. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, no, but Jesus, what is the problem? Is it L1? Do you want the money or not? Cause I... Oh my god. Oh, it's triangle. It's Boost! Not, it's not to the guy. To get... Out the window. Doot 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 doot. Yes. I can't look at the computer. Yes, yeah, I can. That's what we had before. Smooth. It's a working day, August. The fuck? I just got this promotion. Oh hell. No. That's not no, this. Yeah. And it's complete. Hologram computer monitor. Cost expensive. Class high. User ID yeah, Hugo I Vasquez. Love, love, Currently love, viewing love, one encrypted file. Thank you. Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Yes. I am already fucking up, probably. Unknown energy matrix. Okay. Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. That's all? Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. Sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! At least he's nice. Ah, oh, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? SFM we porn. So, rudely interrupted. We were talking. <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion. All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. Yeah, you, I think he got it. I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice... janitor. <laughs> what? No. No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. You better get an eye installed in the back of your head. Because you, you never know when like, I could be creeping up behind you. <laughs> I'm your boss, Reese. Get used to that. 
This is what I'm talking about when I say humility. Roger. That was lesson number two. Clemens. Don't make lesson number three about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up. <laughs> okay. You're dismissed, Reese. Hi, Henderson. I'll let you know when I need my trash can empty. That's definitely Patrick Warburton. Bye, Tick. Love you. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. No. No, no. This can't be happening. I'm finished, Bob. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. I'm so mad. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something, <laughs> I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? Why do you I have a half you shave? A promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. It's my job now, Yvette. No. Well, okay, yes, technically, but not for long. It's that prick Vasquez. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? Lunch leech. Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... can't let that prick get away with this. <laughs> we need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. We could throw him out an airlock. Work yeah, we can. Some... Yeah, except I'm not a murderer. Oh, right. There's no way Hyperion would let Vasquez do that to him unless there was a good reason. The vault key. That's it. What vault key? Vasquez has a deal set up on Pandora to buy one. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is his vault keys. It's perfect. I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we Good have one. a freaking vault key. What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. What? I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting, and it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Then how come he couldn't get it? Oh. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. That is absolutely not true. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Please, Yvette. You want me to get stuck in the awful existence of being a janitor? Vasquez really screwed us, didn't he? Fine. But I'm still hungry. No problem. We only got a couple hours. <sighs> Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Hell standard? yeah. Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmer. Don't look a gift a half shave sure. in the yeah, mouth. A convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... You're gonna steal something, I figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Reese has to be Chris Parnell. He sounds so much like Cyril. And Dr. Spickchimmon. Who's this fedora fuck? <laughs> 